the surprising decision that came down uh, from the highest court in the uh, United Kingdom that stated that, in fact, Brexit was not a binding agreement, um, a binding referendum. Instead, it was uh, basically just a, an opinion poll, for, for lack of a better word, and that the ultimate decision on Brexit is going to must come from Parliament. In other words, Parliament must rule on it. Um, this is to the dismay of Theresa May. You see what I did there? <laughs> because she, you know, she's going underneath the slogan of uh, Brexit means Brexit. And she was ready uh, whenever a plan was set forth. She was ready to make a move on Brexit. Now, this this really. At first glance, it looks as though this means that Brexit is dead on arrival, um, that it's over with. But it's such a divisive issue in uh, the UK that Parliament ruling against what the people voted for could very well be them falling on their sword. Uh, and by that, I mean all of the all of the moneyed interest, all of the neoliberal class, all of the ruling elite, the 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 the, the oligarchy, they most certainly want to remain inside of the European Union. Um, the people who voted against leaving people who voted for Brexit, they want to leave and the majority want to leave. Um, and so if the p members of parliament do what's in the best interest of the money delete and uh, those who just want to stay, who, people who want to be a part of that cosmopolitan, I almost said Neapolitan, people who want to be a part of that cosmopolitan society, um, they they want to remain. And if parliament goes against the people, they can lose some of their seats. The problem is that according to, you know, uh, according to the structure in the UK, the people are not the sovereign body. The sovereignty rests with parliament. And, and to be sure, that's not the underlying problem with this, with Brexit. I just think it's a very interesting twist on the conversation Something that I really, quite frankly, was not aware of until researching this story that in, in terms of sovereignty. So in America, we we pretend as though and we believe and it's actually written, you know, that we that the people we're we're giving consent to be governed. But the people are the sovereign in the United States. Um, that's not so in the UK. In the UK, it's the parliament. And and I guess if you extrapolate from how. Uh, they evolved from being monarchy, a uh, monarchy, to being this um, this uh, constitutional monarchy. Um, it's instead of burning down the monarchy, they expanded on the monarchy by bringing um, bringing in parliament, which gives a, a, a semblance of of representation um, of democracy. But if the question was going to be asked, is it going to be a sovereign king? Or a sovereign people they said neither they said we want a sovereign representative body so it's interesting that you know in the context of brexit you have the people who said we want to leave now you have the highest court in the uk saying well that's ultimately up to parliament and parliament must rule on it so it's bringing to the front this reality that one the people do not have the final say um so much as Parliament has. Now, they do have the capacity to pass referendums, uh, but on this scale, on something that's that's impacting the the uh, the sovereignty of their nation, Parliament has the final word. So um, if you want to know how divided they are, the the opinion is actually split 52 percent to 48 um, percent. And that's with a 72 percent turnout, 52 um, percent in favor of leaving. So if Parliament goes against that, it's already it's 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 going to bring to to the front that there is a it's going to bring to the front the the extent to which the people are subjugated to Parliament. And once that comes to the front, it is that they are that much more likely to say, throw the bums out like you may be the sovereign body. But we as a people have the right to vote you out. So this could really backfire on members of parliament. Um, so even though it seems at the first glance coming full circle that the um, Brexit is dead on arrival, 
I think it's a little deeper than that. I think it's going to take a little bit more analysis than that. Um, that may not be the case, and that may not be the case because of how divided the nation is, uh, the kingdom is, around this issue. And how much of a slap to the face of the people, um, Parliament essentially ignoring them, would actually be.